afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motor home value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at a 2002 Winnebago Journey DL. This is the model number 36LD. Uh, two slide outs, 36 foot long. It's only got 50,000 miles uh, built on a Freightliner chassis. It's got the 330 horsepower Caterpillar turbo diesel. Uh, plenty of power for climbing out on today's mountains and interstates. With only 50,000 miles, folks, you'll never wear this motorhome out. That's the benefit of buying a diesel over a gas burner. You literally cannot wear a diesel motorhome out. Look at all these semi-trucks out there towing 53-foot long loaded trailers with a million miles plus on them. And they've got the same motor and chassis that's in these Class A diesel motorhomes. It's just, uh, that's the longevity of the diesel. This is something you can use 20 years from now. If you keep it, if you keep the service up on it, keep it maintained, uh, I have no doubt in my mind this motorhome will still be on the road 20 years from now. It doesn't matter if it's got half a million miles or better on it. It's still going to be a dependable motorhome. This particular one's got that big 330 horse Caterpillar diesel. It's got a 7,500 watt Onan diesel generator. Again, you're not going to wear that one out because... Uh, just like the diesel engines, uh, it's going to run 30, 40,000 hours or better. Uh, two big slide outs. Now, folks, I'm kind of on a edge here, so I can't really back up and get a good shot of it. But uh, it does have two slide outs. They both have the slide toppers. It's got the upgrade Alcoa wheels. Folks, the Journey is one of Winnebago's top models. Uh, I own, I've owned two Winnebago's myself. I love the fact that Winnebago builds 80% of their own parts. Other manufacturers, they just buy all aftermarket parts. They put them together at the factory. But Winnebago actually builds motorhomes instead of assembling them like other RV manufacturers do. Winnebago is also one of the only brands that has a no maintenance fiberglass roof. Not a rubber roof that you have to service every year or two but a full, no maintenance fiberglass roof that you never have to worry about. Folks, this is a great looking motor home. I've got the motor running. I've got the generator running. Look at the back corners. It's not been backed into anything. Everything looks great. The striping, the finish for a 2002 model is really in phenomenal condition. Now we haven't washed it or cleaned it up yet. It just came in, but rest assured if you buy it, folks, my crew will go over this thing top to bottom, clean it, make sure everything works perfectly before you pick it up. It's got the upgrade power awning and the upgrade power door awning, so you just push a button, it comes out either way. Full heated basement storage, this is a four seasons model, so I know it's getting fall right now and I know winter's coming up, everybody's worried about insulation. You've got nothing to worry about in this one, folks. If you want to take this thing up north in the winter time, you can. Got an outside entertainment center. Uh, open this up right here. You've got some really nice storage. And you've got a little fold-out table, CD stereo. I mean, this is just some of the storage that this unit has. These are those slam shut uh, doors, so they're very, very solid. Here's what I'm talking about, folks. See this sticker? If you look on just about any part on here, it's going to have a sticker like this. That sticker note tells you that this is a Winnebago built part. So in other words, if you ever need to order this particular door right here, e even if it's 10, 20 years from now, you give them that number, they're going to send you this exact same door. And look at that, just slam solid. That's what I love about Winnebago. That's why I drive one myself, because I know it doesn't matter if my coach is four years old, if it's 40 years old, I can call Winnebago and get just about any part I need right from them. And like I said, they're the only brand that actually builds 80% of their own parts. You know, they even build their own frames, their own metal frames for the RV. That's the only manufacturer that does that. They even ha have their own upholstery shop. Everybody else just buys aftermarket upholstery to put in their RVs. Winnebago actually has their own upholstery shop. so. Really an incredible outfit, folks, and uh, a really good, dependable brand. It's one of the pioneering brands of RVs. I mean, that the name Winnebago is pretty much synonymous with any Class A motorhome. If anybody asks you what kind of motorhome you drive, you tell them a Winnebago, it doesn't matter the brand, they know you automatically drive a Class A motorhome. Uh, great looking tires, the Alcoa wheels. 
power step. Everything works great. It's got that power door awning, nice wide door. We're gonna step up in here, folks. I'm gonna tell you, a nice clean motorhome right here. Uh, got the really nice leather captain's chairs power. Of course, here's your controls for your awnings right here by the door where it's easy to get to. Notice how we close everything off, how quiet it gets. I've got the motor and the generator and air conditioner running. This unit's got a big uh, basement air conditioner. The advantages of that is you don't have two air conditioners to keep up with. You just have one. It heats it and cools it a lot more efficiently because the air unit's located in the insulated basement instead of the exposed roof. And it also doubles as an electric furnace. So you still got, um, you can run the gas furnace if you want to, or you can run the electric furnace. It's like a house unit, it's a central heat and air. Up here in the front, uh, as you can see, no warning lights. Really nice cockpit area. Of course, that's just a parking lot because obviously in a diesel, you don't have a park setting. You've got a neutral, you turn your parking brake on. Uh, you've got an exhaust brake. Of course, your fog lamps. You've got the HWH hydraulic levelers. Uh, power heated mirrors, cup holders. This is the Allison six speed 3000 transmission. This transmission will actually learn the way you drive. In other words, if you've got a heavy foot, it'll actually adjust its shift pattern accordingly to the driver to get you the best fuel mileage possible. Uh, uh, you've got ice cold dash air. Now, folks, uh, many of you know we don't guarantee dash airs because nobody ever uses dash airs in motorhomes because it's a lot more efficient to run the generator, run the roof air. So we don't guarantee dash airs, and about half of the motorhomes out here, the dash air doesn't work on because nobody uses them. Everybody runs the generator and roof air. But somebody has kept this one up and kept the dash air ice cold, it's blowing ice cold. Uh, factory stereo CD player. Uh, you've got a Sony, I don't know what this is, some kind of, uh, I believe that's a CD changer control. It's got the Sony backup camera system that works great. You can see my golf cart there in the bathroom, in the background. Uh, slide out controls right here. It's got air horns. Auxiliary fans, which of course are your defrost fans for your windshield. Uh, generator start stop. You've got an uh, easy place to get to if you want to cut your auxiliary battery off. And of course, radio where you can run it off auxiliary or main battery. Uh, full air brakes, air ride suspension. I mean this thing gets, uh, it's got a great ride to it. It's really just a nice and clean motorhome folks. Uh, it's The glass is perfect. There's no uh, cracks, no nothing. It's got, somebody's already upgraded the TV to an HD TV instead of the old cube TV. Uh, it's got a Bose system in here, surround sound. The only thing you can pick on this RV, folks, and this is really common with the Journeys, is this uh, leather gets a little wrinkled right here on the uh, dash. There's really nothing you can do about it. Heat just does that over time, but if you can overlook that, you're getting a nice motor home for well, well under NADA book value. Folks, as we step back from the cab area, the carpet looks like new. It's got ceramic tile floor, Corian countertops. Uh, it's got a power sleeper sofa. It's got a table and chairs. Uh, notice all the window treatments. It's got the day-night shades. got the nice light fixtures, fluorescent lighting. Uh, Winnebago is well, well known for their roof system. You can punch this. You can punch this as hard as you want. Look. Nothing's moving on that ceiling. You do that with any other brand, the lights are going to vibrate, uh, the lenses might pop out, but not in a Winnebago. I mean, this is as solid roof as you're going to find in any manufacturer, even the big Bluebirds and Prevost have got a, don't have any better roof system than a Winnebago. Notice the crowned roof as well. This eliminates standing water, so you don't have that on your roof. Uh, Corian countertops, it's got solid wood cabinet. Winnebago's got their own cabinet shop. They build all their own cabinets, and these are good, solid, hardwood, just like you'd put in your own home. Uh, you've got a confection oven, microwave combination. This does both. I put one of these in my Winnebago. Mine didn't have it. Uh, the main reason being, it's got this little grill right here, and this grill is perfect because 
you know when you drive all day to get to the campground the last thing you want to do is have to get a propane grill out or a charcoal grill to cook you something to eat this thing right here is perfect for one or two people just to throw a couple of steaks on or a couple of pieces of fish or chicken pork chops vegetables whatever you want and you can actually grill it inside the oven without having to wait on charcoal to burn off or have to get out the propane grill I mean this is just easy it's quick perfect for a quick meal and it tastes great too and after uh, seeing them in the RVs I actually uh, upgraded my microwave to one of these grill to go confection ovens and I love it uh, it does have the LP stove top uh, plenty of drawer and cabinet space I mean Winnebago is pretty much I mean they even put sliding cabinets not many people do this perfect for canned goods plenty of drawer space You've got the Norcold two-way RV refrigerator freezer with built-in ice maker. We're going to show you everything works great. Open this up. You've got your slide-out pantry. Now, folks, the airs are ice cold. The dash and the basement air. I, I misplaced my digital thermometer. I'll show you, but I promise you, folks, my personal guarantee that everything on this RV works. The, the refrigerator is cold. The dash air is cold. The roof air or the basement air is cold. I normally like to show you that so you can see it for yourself with my thermometer, but like I said, I, I'm either got to find mine or buy another one. Uh, it does have a manual point satellite. Headliner's clean. It looks great. No signs of leak damage anywhere. Uh, of course, you've got the table and chairs, which is great, especially if you're a big guy like me, because those table booths, the chairs are in a fixed position, and if you're 280 pounds like me, you, need, you like leg room, you like room for your gut to expand while you're eating, so this is, a, this is a great way to do that because you've got a chairs you can adjust just like you do in your own home. Uh, this is ceramic tile. I love the bathroom setup. This is a full walkthrough bathroom. Uh, it's got, notice the Corian countertops back here. You know, a lot of manufacturers, they'll, they'll put Corian kitchen countertops. They'll cheap out and just put the regular countertops back here. But Winnebago went ahead and did it all the way and put Corian all the way back. Uh, got the nice metal fixtures. Of course, that's uh, you can move that seat up and down. you got a really nice shower, neo-angle shower, skylight. Everything works great. You've got a private water closet. Open this up. You got a high-rise porcelain RV toilet instead of this the cheap plastic one. A little overhead storage, vent fans. And it's got washer and dryer hookups. Now folks, we can add a washer and dryer one-piece combo if you want us to for $1,500 dollars with purchase of this RV, of course. That's what it cost us to put one in. I'm not a big fan of them. I've had bad experience with washers and dryers. That's just one more thing to keep up. They're bad about not working when they get a couple of years old. And they're bad about causing leaks and water issues. Uh, plus the fact that you can take a washer and dryer. They're not like a 220 house washer and dryer. These are 110. So you, you can only do a small load. And when I mean a small load, I'm talking two t-shirts and a pair of shorts is all they'll hold. And it takes them several hours to wash and dry that two pairs of that pair of shorts and two t-shirts. And during that time, if you don't have enough amperage, you have to, you cannot run your air conditioner when the dryer is running. And it takes a dryer two or three hours to dry a load of clothes, or what they call a load of clothes in one of these. And during that time, if it's 100 degrees outside, folks, and you've got that dryer going with no air in here, you're going to be miserable. I can go to Washateria, which most campgrounds have really nice Washaterias. A few bucks and quarters, I can do four or five house loads, sides of clothes, in the time it takes this one to do a pair of shorts and two t-shirts. That's no lie, folks. You talk to anybody that's had the washers and dryers, they're a great idea on paper, but in practicality, in real life, they just don't work. But if you do want a washer and dryer, I, I will put one in it for $1,500, but I, my personal recommendation is go to Washateria. You'll be glad in the long run. But back, back to my video tour, folks, you've got a really nice bedroom. That second slide is right here, so you get all this extra storage. Uh, you've got a Queen Island bed. It's got a really nice, comfortable mattress. Uh, plenty of lighting, plenty of duct work in here. Mirror, it's got a stereo. Uh, it's got a TV back here. Even the lights are on a dimmer, so you can 
I guess, set the mood, so to speak. Fantastic vent fan instead of just a cheap five inch blade fan. Reading lamps, there's storage underneath the bed. Uh, you open this up, all these closets are lighted. Here's all your books and manuals. That's getting to be a hard thing to find anymore, but it does have that. Of course, your awning rod. Uh, plenty of drawer space right here. You've got his and her nightstands. Uh, of course, you got a stereo back here if you need it. I'm going to tell you, folks, uh, very nice, comfy feeling. Notice, like, the, the, the crown molding uh, on it. I mean, just a lot of nice little features that really make you realize you're in a top-of-the-line motorhome. And this is a very affordable price for what you're buying. This one's only $49.9. And folks, I'm going to tell you, you're buying one of the best brands on the road and one of their best models for under $50,000 with 50,000 miles. And this thing's loaded. I'm going to tell you, this, somebody's going to buy this one in a hurry. The last two journeys I've had sold in 48 to 72 hours. I look for this one to sell just as fast. It's just a nice, clean RV. It's very been very well kept. Uh, you know, that's that's the main thing. Anytime you buy a used RV, you want to see how it's been serviced, how it's been kept. I'm going to tell you a little hack or a little secret. Look around these air vents right here. If somebody doesn't keep the filters changed on the air conditioner, you're going to see black around these. And that once that black is there, you cannot get it off. It's there for life. But when somebody's actually took care and kept the filters cleaned, look how white that is, folks. Somebody that knew what they were doing has owned this RV. They've kept the dash air running cold like it's supposed to. They've kept it all serviced. That's when you know you're buying a good used RV. It doesn't matter how good the buy is. If the previous owners didn't take care of it, you're going to have problems down the road. And... Uh, Anytime you can buy one like this, it's been well, obviously well serviced, well taken care of. You know you're going to get a good motorhome, and uh, and it's a great price, forty nine nine. Folks, Parkway RV Center has been in business for over forty seven years, and we sell used RVs. Uh, we we have a few new trailers, but ninety percent of our sales are used motorhomes, and that's what we specialize in. We've got over 150 in stock, uh, RVs and campers in stock. We've got one of the largest selections in the, in the southeast. And I'm going to tell you, folks, hundreds of buyers come to us every year. We sell over 500 RVs a year. And hundreds of buyers travel from all over the United States, all over Canada, even some from overseas, uh, to buy motorhomes and campers from us because they can't beat our prices. We have the lowest prices on used RVs in the United States. Uh, we're a family owned, family operated. I'm third generation here. My grandfather started this place back in 1968. And his philosophy was simple and very successful, obviously. Uh, he said that there's RV dealers on the corner of every street in America. And I keep in mind, this was back in the late 60s. And he taught my dad, who taught me, that everybody prices their stuff retail, retail, retail plus. Everybody's got the same prices on used RVs, so most of the time with most dealers, it doesn't benefit you at all to buy from one to the other. But if you price your RVs less than anybody else out there like we do, you're going to sell more. You're not going to make as much, but you're going to sell more, and that's what high volume's all about. His favorite saying, and we kind of made it an unofficial business motto, you make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. You have to sell more RVs to make that dollar because you're not making as much. But your prices are lower than everybody else, so people will come hundreds and sometimes thousands of miles away to Ringgold, Georgia to buy a motorhome because they're saving thousands and thousands of dollars. And folks, I'm going to tell you that philosophy is as true today as it was back then. We've got the lowest prices. I can't tell you how many calls I get a day from buyers 500 miles away, 2,000 miles away, 3,000 miles away, all over Canada. And they call, and the first thing they ask is, what's wrong with it? Why is it so cheap, so much cheaper than everybody else? Is something wrong with it? Is it wrecked? Is, is it a salvage? No, folks, we don't mess with anything like that. We only sell the best of the best when it comes to used motorhomes. My, our owner, my father, and, and me, we've got many, many years of experience buying these RVs. We only buy the best, and we only buy them and sell them for bargains. I mean, this same motorhome, you can go to another dealer and spend 
ten to twenty thousand dollars more and not get as nice a motor home as you get here for under fifty thousand dollars and folks that's why this one's probably going to sell sight unseen over the internet to somebody uh, hundreds maybe thousands of miles away and folks we sell two or three hundred rvs a year sight unseen over the internet because of my videos our pictures and our reputation folks what you see here on the video is what you're getting in fact most people say in person they look a lot nicer than they do on video and photos i don't have commissioned salespeople, folks and the reason for that is simple when you have the lowest prices on the internet you don't have to pay people to sell your rvs they sell themselves Commission salespeople are for dealerships that have overpriced RVs. They have to hire these slick-talking, high-pressure salespeople to make you fall in love with the RV before they give you a price. And that's another reason why many, many RV dealers don't even put prices in their ads because they want you to call. They want, their, they want you to get their highly trained salespeople to get a hold of you, make you fall in love with the coach before they even price it to you. And they're experts at this. I mean, they've been doing it for decades. You don't have to worry about that at Parkway RV Center. My salespeople are salary only. There's no selling involved. They get paid exactly the same. It doesn't matter what you pay for the motor home. It doesn't matter if you even buy it or don't buy it. They get paid exactly the same. This way, there's 100% no pressure. No, no, uh, none of these pesky people calling you back 20 times a day. It doesn't matter to them whether you buy it or not because if you don't buy it, chances are, folks, I've got three or four other people lined up right behind you wanting to buy it. So uh, when you have prices and products like we do, you don't have to pay people to sell them. And so if you've always been afraid to call RV dealerships because you don't want to have to deal with these pesky commission salespeople, you don't have that problem here. We have no extra fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees whatsoever. These other dealerships are going to charge you up to $2,000 in these fees. And that's on top of ten or fifteen thousand dollars more for the same RV that I have here for less. All those fees are a hundred percent dealer profit. They're completely unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. And folks, if you've ever bought an RV from a dealer that charged you anything besides sales tax and sales price, you got ripped off. At Parkway RV Center, we have no fees. We have the lowest prices. We have some awesome financing. Uh, up to 15 year financings available on this RV with approved credit. I mean, you can get in this thing uh, at a very, very affordable payment. And we have very low interest rates because unlike other RV dealerships, we have no interest rate markup. And we're also more than happy to work with your own bank or credit union as well. If you have any questions at all, please give our sales team a call at 706-965-7929. If it's after hours, after we close, or it's a Sunday, you can still get sales help, folks. How many RV dealers even have an after-hours salesperson? Give them a call, 423-605-6747, and, uh, and he can answer your questions after hours. Visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. I've got over 150 used RVs, more arriving daily. Keep in mind, we sell about 15% of our RVs every single week due to our low prices. And so what you see today may not be here tomorrow, but there's going to be others to replace it with because, folks, I have motorhomes virtually coming in every single day. So keep an eye on our website because every, if you log on it once a day, you're going to see something different every single day. You can also email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Oh, like I said, the best way to get in touch with us is simply give us a call at 706-965-7929. We take pretty much any and all trade-ins right now. Um, if you've got stuff that other dealers wouldn't trade for, you'd be surprised when we say we do trade for them. I mean, we've got classic cars, we've got boats, uh, we've got scooters, we've got four-wheelers, razors, uh, trucks, all kinds of stuff that people have traded in that other dealers didn't want to mess with because they didn't know how to market it. Well, folks, other dealers say no, we say yes. The only thing right now, folks, and I'm not trying to make no money bad, if you've got a motorcycle you want to trade in, please, uh, the market's flooded with them right now. I can't do anything with them. Even the motorcycle dealers in this area have quit buying motorcycles because they're 50 cents on the dollar right now and the market's flooded with them and they just can't sell them. 
So if you've got a motorcycle to trade in, folks, uh, I'm sorry that's the one item I cannot trade for. But anything else, I can pretty much trade for, anything I can sell. Give us a call, uh, drop us an email. Thank you for watching my video. I know it's been a long one. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. I've had to regroup, rearrange the website. And um, I'm, I'm back now doing my videos, so I'm gonna try to post a few every day. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Parkway RV Center is my YouTube channel and you can get email alerts or click on my channel anytime you wanna see a new video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.